the chase for a CAA championship and an FCS playoff spot starts in earnest with this game. Hello Spider fans everywhere and college football fans across America and around the world. Satchmo with the Spider Gang. Glad to be back for episode four of the Spiders preseason opponents countdown. Yes, Spider fans, this game against the Stony Brook Seawolves on September the 22nd at 6 p.m. on Long Island opens a murderer's row of CAA games to start the Spiders conference season. And you know what? It's not hard to like Seawolves coach Chuck Priori. Coach Priori is old school and he waves that flag up proudly. He says things at the CAA media day like defense wins football games and games are decided between the tackles. He's looking for his team for a physical style of football. In that respect, he reminds me a little bit of Coach Rocco, who frequently used the term physicality to describe what he was looking for from his football teams with the Spiders. Apparently it works for Coach Priori. He's 113 and 70, or 116 and 70 in his 13th season with the Seawolves. Last year they went 10 and 3, 7 and 1 in the CAA and made it to the second round of the FCS playoffs before they ran in to JMU. They defeated Richmond the last two times we've played and they were picked in front of Richmond in the preseason media poll picked to finish uh, fourth. Two players typify the style that Coach Priori is looking for. Linebacker Shane Lawless and quarterback Joe Carbone. Lawless is a linebacker who leads the team in the tackles for the 2017 season and that physical style of defense that Coach Priori expects when the Seawolves take the field. The Spiders struggled against this defense in both of our recent uh, losses, combining for less than 130 yards rushing in the two defeats. Carbone is not a flashy uh, player, but he's a tough leader who does what's necessary to win and doesn't turn the ball over. This is exactly what the Sea Wolves are looking for from a quarterback in their run-oriented power offense. He threw for three touchdowns in those same two Seahawks, Sea Wolves wins over the Spiders. Now fans, Richmond is likely to be the underdog in this game unless something really crazy happens to either team in the non-conference uh, schedule. So don't be surprised if the Seahawks are favorites going into this game. We don't have to win this game in order to compete for a CAA championship or an FCS playoff bid. But I think what we do have to do is demonstrate that we can go on the road against a tough physical football team and compete nose to nose with them. If we get the upset, it's obviously a great thing for us and gives us a leg up in that run for a championship or an FCS playoff spot. But if we don't, we've got to show that we can compete on the road against tough physical teams. We're going to have to win some games against good teams on the road to compete for that championship and playoff spot. That's all for Stony Brook. Next up, JMU. Go Spiders. So long for now.